I don't know if it's a challenge. I mean, I think it's definitely a challenge between for the Gimme Gimmies because they got no effects and, you know, uh, lag wagon. And it was for a while trying to get Chris Shiflett to, to, yeah. to have his schedule work out. With. So it's definitely more of a thing with them than with lag wagon. Like my side band, we only play in San Francisco, basically. In What's it called? King City. <laughs> yeah, it can be. That that band is actually harder to, to book because uh, our bass player's in the real McKenzie's and now our drummer is in the Mad Caddies. So it's kind of the now, same situation. Now that same drummer is playing with the McKenzie's. <laughs> on their <laughs> Sean's not playing uh, with McKenzie's no, this time? He couldn't make it. So Boz, who is playing with the Mad Caddies and King City, is yep. filling in for Sean on the upcoming McKenzie tour. It's a tight-knit punk rock community. Oh, yeah, who's playing bass? Carl Alvarez is going to play. What? Yeah, it's little Joe who plays yeah. bass, who also played in RKL and plays in the McKenzie's, can't get into Canada because he's got a record, like yeah. a DUI or whatever. So they got Carl Alvarez to fill in. That's pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm actually going to the show on the, on the 5th when they're here. I'm just more and more awesome. getting excited about that. Totally. What has been the, the thing that stood out the most um, playing with either this band or any of your other bands or um, throughout these years? I mean, the first time we went to Europe, I mean, that was huge. And just recently we went to Russia for the second time. But I mean, our St. Petersburg show was kind of a last minute thing. So it was really small and <laughs> we had like just borrowed gear. It was kind of funny, but. Uh, but the best thing about it was we went to St. Petersburg. So we got to walk around and see it, you know, I mean, yeah. that's. The key is trying to go somewhere new. So you, you know, can sort of get that touristy thing. Instead of the kind of going to the same same spots, you know, every time we try to kind of expand to somewhere different. And we went to Moscow the other year, and this year we went to Moscow and St. Petersburg. And, you know, so it's, it's nice because we're lucky enough to be able to do it. But now we're, we'd like to, like, okay, see, let's go somewhere else, you yeah. know, somewhere that, that we haven't been. And... <laughs> Predominantly all ages shows. Is that correct? We try to. Yeah. What uh, what leads you to do that? You know, when we first started touring, there were shows that I wasn't allowed to do that we were playing. Yeah. So um, I'd have to sit out on the sidewalk and play. I personally like all ages shows just because I remember when I wasn't allowed into my own show. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's nice. It should it's be made fun. available to the kids because they're, you know, a good portion of the fans are are not of. Well, maybe here they're up drinking age 18, yeah. but in the state. 19 in Saskatchewan, I guess. 19? 19, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean. But uh, in the States, it's 21, and that's not very fair. Yeah. Like, our, I mean, there's a whole lot of kids right there. I mean, yeah, and you figure, you know, fans are getting older, so a lot of them aren't coming. Like, the over 21s yeah. have stopped coming, you know, and but the, the, but the kids just... It's like we're getting older, but the fans stay the same age, sort of, you know? Hell no. Move on, but the, the newer audiences... Is, they're younger. That's nowadays. Yeah. You could pretty much 
almost uh, guarantee some of your your fans from the beginning bringing their their kids, right? Yeah, seen it. Really? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's happened. It's kind how, of. How does that affect you? Just to know that it's a trip. Yeah. <laughs> well, but you got to realize. I mean, we've gotten older and, and have families also. So, but it, it's pretty cool that it's been passed down a generation. Yeah. You know, it's that's a trip. So that's damn good. That's that's really neat. So. Uh, in terms of new music um, that's out there that you guys have been exposed to that maybe some punk radio cast listeners have not uh, had a chance to listen to, we t- uh, heard about your new band and uh, your band as well. Anybody else that's uh, on your musical radar? Well, Scott, who's filling in, he's got a band called Viva Death, and that's really cool. And... Uh, I don't know. Other than that, I've been pretty preoccupied with with a lot of stuff. I haven't really, really uh, checked out a whole lot of new stuff. I mean, the Bronx is a band uh, I've liked for some years now, and I think they're one of the, the better bands. And bands like Rise Against, and I mean, but it's not like no <laughs> one's heard of them. You know, it's not like a secret. Rise of what? Yeah, who? Oh, as I cover my eyes. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't know. That's about it, really. For right now, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. And there's God, something sorry, sorry. Dead, but <laughs> not much going on up here oh, anyway. Uh, so, Shiza Minnelli. Oh, Shiza, Shiza Minnelli. Minnelli. I can't say I've heard of that. That is, they're from Germany. From Germany. They're and man? they're yeah. like an early hardcore, like RKLE kind of crazy. They're, oh, they're crazy oh. shit. Yeah, they're awesome. Sweet. So look out for them. Shiza Manelli. Shiza Manelli with a name like that, I mean, he's <coughs> yeah, you can't go and, wrong. And German too. Nothing I mean, but good things yeah. can happen. So, and the band that's on tour with us right now, Tat's really good. Tat. Oh, Tat, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I think you did a pretty good job. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. 